Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share a monthly sticker haul with you guys. I've recently started doing this, just kind of combining all of my sticker hauls into one video. I feel like it makes it a little bit more like streamlined, I guess you could say. But basically all these stickers I purchased in November and I'm gonna be using them for January. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be showing you hauls from three different shops today. I've got Sarah Marie stickers, Once More With Love, and Planner Kate. So let's go ahead and start out with Sarah Marie stickers. These are the stickers that I personally love to use for my budgets. So I've got both the seven by nine version and this really, really cute petite version of the stickers. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be setting things up yet, so I kind of got everything that I could to do some experimenting with. So as far as the 7x9 version, I did pick up the um, monthly kit as well as the petite version. Like seriously, look how cute. It's so cute. It's so little. Um, I am a super, super matchy, matchy person. So I personally really like to make sure that everything matches really well. Um, so I love that I'm able to have my monthly spread in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner match all of my trackers um, for my other you know budget pages. So there's that. And then I've got the script stickers for the seven by nine version. Um, I primarily purchased this sheet for the cash envelope script sticker. I wanted it to match the rest of the colors versus the black. Um, she offers this separate script sticker in black. I didn't really want that. Um, but with the way I'm gonna be setting things up, I actually don't think I'm gonna be using this at all. So that's okay. It's always kind of nice to have some extra stickers on hand just in case you never know when you might need them. So I have that. For the January scripts and then I've got the budget sheets for both the 7x9 and the petite version. I love that Sarah gives you the option of using either the variable and fixed setup for your budget or just the expenses in general because I think what I might do is in my 7x9 I will continue to use the variable and fixed but I think in my petite it would make more sense to use the expenses because I think I'm gonna actually have my budget go on like two pages versus one page in my petite but I'm still sort of playing around with that but yeah so she um, recently reformatted all of her budget kits and I absolutely love the changes that she made I think it's really great that we now have the option with just buying one kit because you never know some months you might want to change your mind or redo it or you know whatever it may be so there's that. And then I've got the weekly check-in page for both the 7x9 and the petite version. And what I really love that she added here was the um, remaining per week. That is a calculation I like to make, especially with groceries and household, just to make sure that weekly wise, like we're doing okay um, with our grocery budget and our household budget. So there's that one. And then let's see, the next thing I've got is the variable income. I like to use this sheet to um, track my earnings from YouTube and affiliate links and all that kind of stuff. So I've got the seven by nine version and the petite version as well. And this is one where I'm not like 100% sure I'm gonna use that in the petite, but I did pick it up just in case I wanted to. Um, I'm still in the process of really like figuring out how I want to set things up. So. It's just gonna take some time. Um, and then I've got one transaction log for the seven by nine and I have four for the petite version because I think I'm actually primarily going to use my, like what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to use a, a line journal and I'm gonna keep that in my on the go folio from Erin Condren and I'm gonna use this to, to track my transactions because using cash, it's not always guaranteed that I'm going to get a receipt or that I'm going to not lose the receipt. So what I really want to get in the habit of is just writing down the transaction information right after the transaction takes place. So almost using the lined journal as like a, 
a place to house all the transactions. Um, but I also want to have my budget in there just as, you know, a reference, um, you know, for if I'm on the go and I, you know, need to see like how we're, like what our total limit is on a certain item. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just want it to be able to reference to it while I'm not home because my budget planner, my deluxe monthly, pretty much stays at home all the time. So there's that. And then we get into all the washi. So I picked up every option available in both the seven by nine. And then I think I also did the same thing, maybe did the same thing. I got a couple of these balloons. I love the balloons um, for the petite version. And yeah, I did get this one and I got this one as well. So I got a ton of washi. Um, I got extra washi for my petite version because I was planning on using it for the transaction log. Um, I plan on having multiple pages of that. So that's that. And this washi is seriously so pretty. The camera doesn't do it justice at all. This confetti one is really, really cute. And I, the balloons, I like that combination, I feel like the most. But I still really do like this combination too, or this um, washi option with like the gold glitter. I think that's super pretty. And then the last thing that I got from Sarah Marie is um, a bunch of thin washi. I load it up on thin washi. I always do um, because I personally like having the decoration, um, like extra little colors and things like that in my budget. Um, so I got a bunch of petite washi since again I'm planning on using more like pages there and then a couple for the 7 by 9 so that is everything I picked up from Sarah Marie stickers super excited to get all that set up next week you guys will see my January budget video and those stickers will be used in that video so stay tuned for that and then the next thing is my um, once more with love haul and I am becoming increasingly addicted to using munchkins. I just think they are the cutest things ever and I just love that she sends this little card too. It says from the bottom of our hearts, I hope your happy mail brings you the biggest smile. Thank you. And creativity is contagious. Pass it on. I just love these. I think they're fun to just kind of, I, I almost want to do something fun with them, like start saving them and framing them and putting them up in my office or something because they're just really inspiring. Um, I am a big big fan of anything like inspirational quote motivational quote that kind of stuff so and like just look how cute <laughs> this is with the little munchkins oh I just love them they're so adorable and I got a couple freebies as well so there's the November is a time for good food and good company with a couple of little cute um, munchkins there and then these are super pretty and it's like a blue glittery foiling um, stickers so you got some little munchkins and then some little washi strips just fun decorative um, stickers there so these are so cute my favorite is probably this little reindeer guy I just think that's adorable and the little present one is super cute so these are the freebies I got and then I picked up I'll start with these little like food items so I picked up some ice creams um, I love taking my daughter on like frozen yogurt dates or ice cream dates, things like that. So I thought that would be fun. Same thing um, with the donuts. I like to take my daughter to go get donuts occasionally and stuff like that. So I thought that would be fun just to add some decoration. And I got a couple things of wine. I do not drink very often at all, but I thought this would be really fun just to kind of have for if like I do a girls night or we do happy hour or something like that, which is something we've talked about trying to do more we're all moms with like small kids so it's hard to get together but when we do it's really fun so um and then I got these little computers with the with the little bow in the corner which I think is so cute and that's just to kind of mark like work tasks YouTube stuff and all that I just thought they were really cute so there's those and then I picked up these little therapy munchkins hold those up for you guys so I would zoom in, but I'm going to have to, my little zoom thing is kind of being funky. So it took me forever to get it to look like it does now. So I don't really want to mess with it, but um, these are really cute. Therapy is something that I am making a goal in 2020 to 
find a good therapist in our area. I got really burned <laughs> the last time I went to a therapist. Um, I basically got stood up. It was super unprofessional. There was no apology for it. I was waiting in the waiting room for like an hour and then I finally just left and then they never followed up with me. And so I was just like, oh, this is stupid. But I really want to, you know, find a good therapist in our area. I think it'd be good for me. So I picked up some of those. I also got these uh, panda tired dark eye circles because that's basically what my eyes look like all the time right now with a newborn. Although I can't really complain that much, honestly. She has been sleeping through the night now for about a week. I know it, it's going to kind of regress and all that kind of stuff, but um, she's been sleeping like eight to 10 hours consistently at night for a while now. So that has been helping a lot, but I just thought these were hilarious and wanted to get them. I also got this um, meditation munchkin sheet, super adorable meditation, something that I really like to practice and on days that I do it, I notice a drastic difference in my overall mood. Um, so it's something that I really want to make time for and I just thought that would be a fun one to put in my planner as well. And then I've got the four year anniversary favorites. I love picking up this sheet, um, just the anniversary favorites, just for the variety. Um, I think it's really fun. So just got all sorts of little cute ones on there. Um, hang in there, that one's super cute, low battery. Um, just really adorable stickers on there. And then I have some Christmas decor. I'll probably use these more in 2020. Um, now that December's almost over, it's almost like I don't want to use my sheets. <laughs> I kind of want to keep them um, since I'm going to be out of my 2019 planners very soon. So I picked up those just to add some decoration. These are really fun to use in like the petite planners too. And that's kind of, I think, where I'm primarily going to use them. Maybe, I don't know. I picked up two of these Peking Munchkins because I am obsessed with these. I think these are so cute. Um, especially if you use like an inspirational quote box or anything from Erin Condren. Um, these are just really fun to kind of put around the quote box. I just think they're really cute. And then I've got a Christmas countdown sheet. It's really fun. And Thanksgiving, more Thanksgiving stickers because I had used them a lot of them in um, one of my petite planner spreads and I wanted to have more to use for uh, 2020 so picked up more of those I have this Manny and Petty sheet which these little munchkins that are peeking over like the nail polish is my favorite I just love it so there's those I take my daughter for pedicures pretty often too and then we've got the peekaboo um, Christmas version which like how adorable the little cookie guy is probably my favorite. And then there's the Grinch. So cute. Probably say cute like 500 times in this video. So then I've got the Christmas just general decor. We've got uh, little reindeer, gingerbread man, Santa Claus. Adorable. I'm trying to not say cute. <laughs> and these are really cute ones too. See, there I go. <laughs> Um, just little holiday stickers. I really loaded up on a lot of the holiday stuff, as you can see. Got these ones as well. Just more holiday decor. And then I've got the New Year's, which I'll be using in my um, 2020 planner. It's got this cute 2020 balloon right here, the countdown and everything. And then I also picked up some New Year's decor too with this. So all sorts of really adorable decorative stickers there. And yeah, so I don't know if I will be using these primarily in my petite planner or my um, life planner, maybe both. I don't know, but we will see. But I picked up quite a few sheets from Once More With Love. I thought these were just so fun. So there's that. And then we get into Planner Kate, and I only picked up kits from Planner Kate this time. Um, I've been really trying to limit myself with my Planner Kate purchases. Um, so, first thing I'll show you is the monthly kit that I chose. 
and the monthly kit I chose is kit 200 and I haven't been using monthly kits for a while now but I really wanted to get back into it especially now that she reformatted it to fit the Erin Condren life planner a little bit better I wanted to start you know using these again um, in my monthly spreads so I really love this kit it's very New Year's Eve you know appropriate so um, this washi is just my favorite with the little fireworks in the 2020 just really really adorable very pretty and to go along with my monthly kit I also picked up some thin washi and I got some um, decorative appointment la uh, labels some icons and then I picked up some extra appointment labels, which I honestly probably did not even need to do. I've got a ton on here, but that's okay. And then extra basic boxes and labels as well. So I got all that for my monthly spread in my life planner. And then I also did get the, let's see, I'm not going to be using that, the petite version of the kit. Um, to use in my daily petite planner because I really like having my monthly spread with me on the go as well. You just never know when you're going to need to look and see, you know, what you have coming up when making plans and all that kind of stuff. And I got some thin washi to go with that as well. Although I didn't really realize how much thin washi came with it already. I may not need it, but we'll see. So there's that. And then for the weekly kits, the one I will start with is kit 200 it goes with that monthly kit so I picked up the sampler sheet I also picked up the ombre boxes I feel like I have to sneeze it's like not coming um, and then the full boxes and you get some um, extra decorative labels down here too which I really like so I have some fun plans for 2020 with my life planner um, you guys we'll see shortly after this video the changes that I'm going to be making but with this weekly kit I did get the sidebar I also picked up icons um, I really didn't need to get these I didn't really realize that um, the sheet came I, I don't know why but I didn't really notice that this um, that the decorative labels were down here so it's a little overkill on the decorative labels but that's fine I did get some thick washi some thin washi and then of course the strip headers as well so that's everything I picked up for the week and again I got probably more than I really needed to but it's really just because for a little bit I'm gonna be experimenting and then I'm planning on like really streamlining things and kind of simplifying my process a little bit more so I don't need to get as much um, as much stickers as I have been so Okay, so I'll put those off to the side. And then the next kit that I got is kit 205. I thought this was really pretty. It's, um, I don't remember the name of it. It's like a neutral, something neutral, but I got the sampler page, the ombre boxes, and then the full boxes as well. And then again, I did get the icons, the sidebar, the strip, headers and then thick washi and thin washi for this I did not get the decorative labels which I'm thankful for because that would have been way too much I mean it's already kind of a lot as you guys can see so uh, but this kit is just really pretty I feel like it's going to look really pretty laid down um, in the planner once it all comes together so I'm excited to use it um, and as you guys can tell like I'm switching up my planning style I haven't talked a whole ton about this because I've honestly just been kind of thinking about it and planning it all in my head and all that um, but I am using my life planner in 2020 as more of like a creative outlet and memory keeping and then I'll be using my daily petite planner for all like the nitty gritty daily stuff so um, I just personally love using stickers it's a hobby it's something I just really enjoy doing and I missed it I had the whole month of December I have not had a life planner and I honestly have missed it so much so um, so this is kit 201 it's another kit that I picked up and I've got again the sampler page the ombre boxes and then the full boxes and half boxes so I'm excited for those 
And for the add-ons, I did get, for this one, I did get the decorative labels. Um, and then I have the icons, the sidebar, the thick washi, thin washi, and the strip headers. So that's everything I picked up for that. And we'll see how much of this I end up using. I don't like wasting stickers, so that's why I'm trying to, it's, it seems very excessive right now, but I do plan on cutting this back quite a bit once I figure out exactly what I'm gonna be using. So, because um, I am switching up formats, so <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be using an hourly in 2020, so I just have to kind of experiment and see. But, okay, and then we've got Mini Kit 207 very wintry one super cute um so i've got the sampler page the ombre boxes and then the um full boxes and half boxes and for add-ons i've got the icons the decorative appointment labels the sidebar strip headers and then the thin washi and the thick washi so there's that one I love this kit. I think it's so pretty. Very January appropriate, even though it doesn't snow here in Arizona. That's okay. Um, okay, and then this last one is probably my favorite of all of them. Well, actually, I really like this, like, cozy. Um, let me show you guys. This one is one of my favorites as well. I just think it's super pretty. But this is the last kit that I picked up, and it's Mini Kit 203. So I've got the um, sampler page, and then I've got the ombre boxes, and the full boxes and half boxes. Um, so there's that. And then for the add-ons, I've got the decorative labels, the icons, the sidebar, the strip header, and then the thin and thick washi. So. That is everything I picked up. I'm really excited to dive into this. So excited, like I have so many fun ideas. Um, I really cannot wait. And my life planner is here. I will be sharing my Erin Condor Black Friday haul with you guys. Um, you guys will either see it, I think Thursday or Saturday this week, we'll have to see. But um, that is everything. I, oh, you know what? I did pick up some random sheets. Um, let's see, what did I pick up? Or no, these are from, oh, these are just ones I haven't put away yet. Never mind, never mind. Um, yeah, so I did just get kits in November. Um, but yeah, so that is everything I picked up. Lots and lots of stickers. This is a little insane. <laughs> so all my stuff from Planner Kate, all my stuff from Once More With Love, and then all of my stickers from Sarah Marie Stickers as well. And yes, I have a massive sticker addiction, I know, but I love it, it's so much fun. But anyways guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. If you have any questions, comments at all, let me know in the comment section down below. All of these shops are gonna be linked in the description box down below as well. And then for any shop that I have like a coupon code for, I will provide that for you as well. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I will chat with y'all later. Bye.